Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to have a closer look at the functionality of smart filters, which can be applied to the products grids that you find in WooCommerce and can also work with jet engine listing grids, calendars, etc. But let's say on your page you have multiple blocks that you want to filter using different filters. There is a solution for that and to show you how it works, let me go ahead and create one more filter. I want to test this out using two different search filters. So now let's go ahead and create a second search filter. I have already got one created. So in the filter tab you select search and here you type in whatever text you want to see in the placeholder and if you want to apply the default WordPress search just leave it as it is or if you want to filter by some values from the custom fields or by query variables that are listed here. So you choose another option, but in my case, I'm going to use the default WordPress search and I'm going to publish this filter. So here in the page in the Elementor editor, I've got two different listing grids. One is publications and the other one is authors. And I'm going to drop the two different search filters that I have just created next to each of these listing grids. So let's search for the search filter here in the elements panel and drop one over there. And in the select filter drop down, I choose search this filter for jet engine, because this is the uh, listing grid. And here I'm going to drop the second search widget. Here it goes. So I'm going to select search second and this filter for jet engine as well. So once we have done that and we simply dropped the search filters, both of them on the page, it's going to mean that once you start typing in in one of the filters, it's going to search in both of the listing grids. To avoid that, we need to specify for what widget we want this search filter to work. What we need to do is to click on the listing grid first of them and go to advanced and find the CSS ID field in here. Here I'm going to type in the specific ID that will be specific for this listing grid. Then I'm going to click on the search widget that I want to be working for this listing grid. And here in the content tab, I'm going to find the query ID field where I'm going to paste the specific ID that I gave to this listing grid. I'm going to repeat the same process with the second listing grid. I click on it, go to advanced tab, give it a specific ID grid to so as you see, the IDs have to be different for these two listing grids. And then I go to the search filter, the second one that I want to apply to this listing grid. And in the query ID, I paste that same CSS ID that I gave to this listing grid. So now we have connected the listing grid with the filter. And now this filter is only going to work for this listing grid and this filter is only going to work for this listing grid. So now let's have a look at the preview of this page. So now if I go ahead and type something in this field, in the first of my two search filters and click apply filter button. As you see, this query only works for this listing grid. And this filter has been searching in this listing grid only. So now let's try with the second listing grid. So here I'm going to type in the query and click apply filters. And this filter now only works for this listing grid as well. So now you know how to set the specific filter for the specific widget using JetSmart Filters plugin for Alamazer. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching.